its roots over the years. One we actually liked is a power retractable hardtop instead of the traditional canvas cloth arrangement. The top, which folds neatly into the trunk, is only available in the top of the line Grand Touring version. You would think this much extra sheet metal in the motor to operate it would make the car unwieldy, but at 2619 pounds it's still extremely nimble. Mazda designers say the next generation of the MX-5 will be 200 pounds lighter. Our test car came with the best drivetrain available for the platform. It's a chain driven 2 liter aluminum block engine. Matched with a 6 speed manual transmission, it turns out 167 horsepower and 140 foot pounds of torque. This is set up with a fuel injection system that's supposed to get 28 miles to the gallon on the highway. But as you can see, we did a lot better than that. The next version will get the Skyactiv makeover, including a turbo, which will improve fuel economy and deliver a performance boost. We did enjoy what the current power plant can do when pushed a little beyond posted speed limits. Now once the MX-5 is loaded up with Bilstein shocks and very sticky 17-inch street tires, there is a near perfect bunch of road feedback and control. Since the British roadsters that pioneered this kind of car are gone, and domestic efforts to mimic it have fallen flat, the MX-5 will remain the icon on how to build and design a small affordable two-seater that makes driving a personal and an occasionally romantic experience. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper tv at cs.com.